Jeff Haynes finds himself behind bars yet again. And Brampton Juliet is upset. It's Mount TV bringing you all the latest headlines, breaking stories, drama, clout chasers, and everything trending in the streets. Now, it's a hot mess in the streets. Yes. Now, as we've been catching up, you know, trying to keep track, okay, keeping up with Bramty, um, with that being said, she put out the other side, right? She gave us a little bit of detail, you know, uh, keep letting us know everything, right? She's going to uh, let everything out in the open. She doesn't want to hide anything about her life, but... Dun, dun, dun. So over the week, we did find out that Jeff has been retained once again by the Florida. Uh, <laughs> he's back in jail, right? So uh, with this one here, he did not violate parole. It doesn't look like he's gotten in trouble for something totally new. I think that Branch and Juliet, she's just like, what? Why are y'all talking about this? But let's just let's let's bring it back a notch. They wanted this because you didn't give it to them. And now that you gave it to them, <laughs> they're getting it, right? So we're going to be talking about what goes on with uh, with your family. And with that being said, too, I can't wait for things to just pop off. This is your year, Brampton. This is really the family's year. With that being said, Brampton's not, she's not too keen on anybody really talking about or putting, I guess, stories about Jeff's situation on the front line. I'm, I'm under the impression that it's embarrassing to her. But we already know Jeff, as far as, you know, we've been watching Bram to Juliet and the Bram fam, we already know, like, if you know, then you just know, right? Then we knew that he was gonna go back. We all knew he was gonna go back to jail, let's be real. As they showed on the other side, right. an a in-depth view of the family, right? right? Breaking down the family traumas and everything that's been going on with Jeff mm -hmm. and the whole situation. Right. But they left a scene in I think on purpose. Right? They were letting us know something's wrong with Jeff. Jeff is not cooperating. Jeff is not acting normal. Jeff does not want to reintegrate back into society like he's supposed to. I had that problem to deal with another problem and then having two problems to deal with. This, why, this is why I walk away from you guys. You guys are too fucking much for me, bro. Seeing Jeff like this, I can definitely tell that it's really, really bothering him. And I'm just sensing that it's not just a situation with Richard, but he has a lot going on. Yeah, don't leave. I think you're just No, no. You can act with this person like the way you are with everybody else. With this person, okay. you're gonna be less tough, a less, you know what I'm saying, more understanding because they went through shit. Okay. So I think you just need to be like that a little bit with Jeff. Okay, okay. Is he sober? He's intoxicated? So I think if you just tell him. And, 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 I said, and I said to him Brandy, twice. And he's I said not going to talk when he's sober. He I talks said, when he's a little bit tipsy because I know and how he's Jeff. And he's quiet. That. He's in a different level mentally. There's no communication. Because he's going to take things to a point where he's like, what the fuck? The whole scene. When Jeff was not around, it was a whole conversation. Something's wrong with Jeff. And we're, we clearly cannot help him. He had a bottle. It was like, okay, can you calm it down? One shot is enough. Let's mm -hmm. not, no, he wants the whole bottle. Right, 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 right. So it was very clear something's going to go off the deep end. Right. I, I don't know, you know what I mean? Like, whenever I try to rewind myself back, you know what I mean? Even looking at footage of Brampty and Richard, you know, Maritza, Mimi, like the whole, um, I want to say before she got pregnant with the twins, right? Um, there was, I did only seen one video, literally one video, you know, as my mind recalls of Jeff being there and he didn't say much, right? So you just knew that he was, you know what I mean? Maybe younger, uh, left behind, you know how it is with that, with the baby, right? So, uh, and then it wasn't too long right after to where, boom, he was gone. And then it became a social media story. The thing is, they've even come out, even on the other side, and admitted that, you know, they felt the, t some type of way whenever Bramty blew up. I think whenever Bramty gave it to them, she gave them the spotlight, she gave them social media platforms to just take off with, that they didn't really understand that whatever you do from here on out is going to be put on spotlight. What comes with the job. Absolutely. And that is unwanted attention Absolutely. unwanted media attention when it comes to the blogs especially independent media like poncho she's got a problem she sent in this uh this dm i get you're all about the drama sometimes there's a line you shouldn't cross this is one of them have some respect putting it on your story like it's nothing what is that yeah but the fact of the matter is like she said, you're all about the drama. It's a drama page. Mm -hmm. It's it's an independent media that covers drama and mess. 
So I, I'm confused. It's cheese man. Yeah. What is what does she expect right. when this is what? She, sure, you're bringing your family into like a reality series, a vlog series. So you're not like, oh, I'm not a drama channel, but you're an influencer. And influence comes with what's the story here? What's the what's the tea? She That's even has okay. little t specials tea with Brampty. She knows that this stuff sells. So I, all this acting brand new. No, when you handed Jeff, I'm gonna say it. You know, it's gonna offend, but it, the criminal. You hand the criminal the platform. Expect some criminal things to go down. Right. So it's gonna be blasted. People are gonna say, "Oh, look at this record. Look what he did this time." He went back to jail this time. He getting out on November. He gonna be there a while. And it said he committed a misdemeanor felony. What are we, are we just supposed to pretend like you didn't just break this storyline for us to follow? And now the storyline's getting real. Right. I'm expecting season three to blow up, okay? With exactly. And everything because Branty has said it on more than one occasion that she's about being uh, open to her audience. Exactly. And if the, the new side, era, exactly. And if the other side is representing, keeping it real with us, it would this be. This is it. Right, right, right. This is a time right now. This is a win for her. I, I know it sounds ugly, but on another note, when if you the reality show was real, if it was on VH1, absolutely something of a, a higher status, and they have real production teams behind it to get something together it would definitely be a jeff special Absolutely. okay TMZ jeff is getting arrested the footage would have been right there yeah. the tea would have been spilt out bram she would jump in front of that green screen or whatever yeah. and sit there and spill jeff went to jail today yes. he did this and this and this right. and we're very upset right you well, know absolutely I'm, I'm waiting for this to pop but you're absolutely right i know that i sound you know a little bit shady but i'm like girl this is the moment this is your time like honestly put the work into your content and explain what's really going on now's your time to keep it a buck whether jeff wants it or not you know what i mean jeff it went right back to where he wanted to go this is systematic this you gotta think that whenever somebody does something he is old enough to premeditate okay you understand what i'm saying without knowing that it was premeditated you can't sit here and say oh it just happened all that whatever he did exactly the warning signs talking. were there absolutely. and they warned us in the show absolutely they involved us yeah. okay so can't get mad at ponchito right. he's just doing his job right period but the fact of the matter is this mugshot reveals a lot it to does, me it does it does it's very scary um i think that um there's probably a little some some in his system there's a little something they're hiding here they sat down and had a discussion about their family traumas right i think that there's something a little deeper that especially when it comes to jeff mm -hmm. that's been passed on to him and the family i'm not gonna say it out here in the open i don't want to ruffle too many feathers but jeff has a problem very clearly it's been discussed. Richard put it out there. It's been put out there. Right. Jeff has a problem. Right. And I don't think he solved it. Yeah, well, you know, thinking about that skit right there, um, you know, he was wanting to wait for him to be sober, to speak with him, because he already knew what it was going to be. Obviously, it's repetitive, okay? And it's I don't think it's just either. alcohol. No, absolutely not. That's what I'm saying. That mugshot right there was very evident. That didn't look. That that looked like you. It's like a 30 night. hour binge yeah, yeah, of yeah. something, okay? I know that whenever I, I come from a long line of, you know what I mean, criminals. <laughs> Put it that way. Uh, my father being one. And a lot of times when he was released, the first thing that I thought of is, oh, great. He's going to promise he's not going to do it again and he would turn around and with repetitive, you know, tendencies, he would do the same thing. And you have to see that with them warning us that something was off with Jeff, he's not conforming. And with him going back so fast, there's there's a deeper issue that if that's not solved, this is going to con continue until his demise absolutely yeah 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 you either um, that's the pattern i see yeah. on the streets absolutely. when it comes to this sort of behavior and attitude with life right and especially whenever he goes on live and he sees that 
<laughs> it was, you know, Brampty's birthday weekend. So all this happened really in it just the spur of the weekend. It was just the weirdest thing. So anyway, prayers for the family because I know that this is just another heartache for Mimi. Now, is she going to come back and do some hardcore content? We'll certainly, we'll hear about it. I don't know. I think she's really taking a step back from all of this. I, I, that's what I see. A lot of them don't really want to be a part of this too much as Brampty has been. They've tried it. They've dibbled and dabbled. They've got their feet wet. And they said, this really ain't for me. Right. Well, you know, maybe- Brampty has the, the real talent here <laughs> right and mentality that she right. wants this right, everyone right. else is kind of just like well if this works okay but it's if it's not their passion they're not in it well and honestly this is just my opinion you shouldn't really be in social media if you have stuff to hide you know what i mean because that it, stuff like this you know what i mean comes out but with that being said you guys please subscribe to the channel if you have not already hey you want to be a part of the show hit us up on instagram you want to be a host here on the show bringing all the latest cheese man gossip and everything in the streets go ahead and hit us up on the mount tv instagram and we are out